Hello everyone, this is Reggie with A-Team Appliance. I also have a website where I sell uh, used parts, uh, some on eBay, and I also have a website where I sell dryer heating element tune-up kits called uh, dryertuneup.com. And I'm bringing you a video on this Frigidaire front load washer. Uh, it's not the camera, I actually have it tilted in a weird position, but that helps me access the pump. So, what's wrong with this one? Um, you know, we recondition these things and resell them. Um, so this is part of the reconditioning process. I like to get it on video to help uh, inspiring technicians or do-it-yourselfers uh, fix their own issues on their washer because these things are expensive to repair. So this one uh, kind of pauses. You hear the pump running but no water comes out the, the, the drain, uh, which first issue, uh, first red flag for that is it's a clogged up pump. So. Um, I've taken the liberty to already do a lot of the dismantling. Um, there's plenty of other videos on here to show you how to take stuff apart, but a lot of the self-explanatory is pretty easy. Um, just take the back panel off, and on frigid airs, it has an access uh, opening here, and the pump is usually around here where my finger is. This is the drainage pump pipe. And this is where it's connected to the tub. So I've taken all that off. And then you have to disconnect the pressure hose. See that, that right there? Uh, the little spout thing with the ring around it? That's where the pressure hose is. What that basically does is um, uses water pressure to tell the pressure switch that the tub is full. Uh, so, and that's the base, that's where the pump goes. So you take out one screw, and I've taken the whole thing out. And I'll show you it over here. So this is the whole pump assembly. So you wanna take the whole pump out, and this is just for frigid airs. Um, LG, Samsung, Whirlpool, sometimes a different story. Um, a lot of them have access doors, but on frigid airs, it's better just to get them from the bottom. Uh, on LG, Samsung, typically you take the whole front door off if it doesn't have an access panel on the front. So anyway, staying on subject, so you have your uh, drain. As you see, it is pretty clogged and disgusting. So something got in there. Um, looks like I've already removed this part out of it. Oh, uh, underwire, which for some reason in all like frigid air stuff, products man i always find underwires so i don't know i don't know what's going on with that but i guess that it's just the perfect bad combination underwire and the frigid air designs so what i'm gonna have to do is clean this out and clean it out now there's gonna be there's a coin trap inside here you can feel it. it's a little plastic hard plastic uh filter that catches coins and different lint and debris so that's clogged up and it's preventing so this is where is connected to the tub water goes down flows through here and pushes out through the drain so this is your fan so what we're gonna do now is clean this out by pressing the coin trap up kind of push it up with your finger sorry I got one hand I'm trying to film and do this so it's more talk than show but you push that up and then next, what I want you to do is not just clean this out and then spend your time putting it back together because what can happen is you find out that your fan blade may be damaged because sometimes things will pass through and hit that blade and a blade won't spin all the water out. So I'm going to show you how to test that also. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clean this out and pause the video real quick. All right, so I took the this hose off. And look what's in here, it's like a straw sticking out. So to test that, flank, that's your fan blade there and the inside. And that helps push the water out. So what we're gonna do is detach these three screws, four screws, and take this housing off and test the pump. And also we're gonna get this stuff out of there. So I'm going to show you that right now. Hang on. All right. So I've actually pushed out the coin trap through the exit. 
Sorry guys. <laughs> Put some here so this thing won't move. Okay. There we go. So let's get this out. So I like to cut right to the solution. Uh, most of my videos are for technicians or people who are somewhat handy. So I'm not explaining to you how to take a hose clamp off or anything like that. So you got another bra underwire. Two of them in there. And we're just gonna yank this out through here. Yeah, that thing is pretty clogged. That is gross. <laughs> Look at my gloves. Look, it might be like dog hair or something. And that stuff kind of accumulates. And so what we do is we kind of run a, a vinegar. Uh, when we recondition these things, we first use vinegar to clean out the, the tubs because vinegar breaks down the soap. And then we run a bleach load to help sanitize it. You know, the vinegar probably does both, but, you know, uh, so there's something about bleach. All right, so I'm going to get this cleaned out. All right, now we're going to start on checking the pump. So we're going to remove these screws. And if this is your first time doing this, it's actually a good idea to take a picture of the pump. That way, if you forget how to put stuff back together, because there are different angles, all this stuff can be put back on together. And you want to have the right angle so everything, this, this, keep it close to factory you know as you, as possible as, as it was originally installed so take that off release this now I also I do have a video on how to test pumps but here's another one <laughs> uh, so basically you want that bounce action watch see I feel some resistance here bounce bounce it's like a clutch in there that keeps that helps keep it uh, from breaking if some debris hits it but it doesn't always happen so anyway, this this pump is good, but if you have a pump that you can just turn freely with no resistance whatsoever, and you don't have that bounce, that snapback right there. So if you don't have, without that snapback, then you, you have a bad pump or your pump's broken. Or sometimes you'll see this blade sideways. You'll see some rubber sticking out of here when they go bad. Um, but if you can turn it freely with your finger, uh, then it's a bad pump. But if you get this bounce back right here, it's a good pump. So this pump is undamaged. Uh, probably partially thanks to that coin trap catching all that, that gunk and debris. Also, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of like detectives. So if you have debris inside your, your coin trap or your, your, your filter, if you have a lot of plastic in there, uh, then most likely, you know, we want to treat the symptom. I mean, we want to treat the cold and not the symptom, right? So if you have a lot of plastic shards in there, then most likely you have a broken tub. And what's happening is that metal tub is wobbling and it's hitting the outer plastic tub, uh, shredding it, and it's getting into the pump. So before you go out and buy a pump or anything like that, yeah, you most likely might need a, a bearing uh, or a new machine because those things, that's quite expensive. And to do it yourself, it requires so much time um i mean if, if you're a novice it's gonna take you probably a day or two to, to do the repair uh for a technician it's a three to four hour repair um and the cost because of the hourly uh it's almost better to buy a new one so anyway that's what i'm gonna put this baby back together and uh we should be fine uh any questions feel free to comment below also you can uh check us out on www.dryertuneup.com uh, I have a, uh, you can automatically ask me questions there. Uh, on the lower right hand corner of the website, there's a little box. You can just, it, it goes directly to me and you can ask any question that you like. Thanks for tuning in.